So hello everybody, it's me Alice and today my makeup is like over the top because today I have copied Nikki Tutorial's Valentine makeup look because I've seen lots of these videos where people are copying people's makeup looks all over YouTube and I thought that would jump on the bandwagon because why not? So if you want to see this look, just keep on watching. So obviously I don't have that, so I'm just going to use this. Just using a brush, so I'll just use a little brush. It's going to cover what? the redness of my face. Oh my gosh, the green transforms. Look, look into at hers. Like, a she doesn't look like she's got any color. green on her face, and you look at me. And my face is like looks like an ogre. Like, what the hell? Goodness. Never tried this before. This is by Nars. So it's I'm gonna use the Kat Von D one just because Siberia. I don't have the Nars one, but they're both the same. I can use my beauty blender as well. I'm trying to blend it out like she does. She just makes me feel look so good. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa! Don't be fooled by the oh, nail. Just I thought sheer glow, so I thought it was gonna be a more sheer finish foundation. I was wrong. And so these foundation is really good. I do recommend it. For concealer, Tarte's Shape Tape. Basically, it's a tube for um, the Tarte concealer, and the Revolution one is four pounds, and the Tarte one is twenty pounds. So now, setting my face to make sure my face lasts all day. Oh my god, all this day. is going everywhere! Literally, I hate loose powder so much. Ah. Uh, yes, honey, get oh your god. inner Patrick star. We'll use my Morphe 35 O palette, and I'll use this brownie shade here. I'm gonna blow oh up this God. color in the crease from left right. to right and up and down. And that's what she's saying. Oh my, this looks so, like, this is like a two year old who's done my eye to door. So now I will use this orange shade here and I will warm up my crease. I'm using this mainly in the crease, but also making sure I really blow and use it out. Oh my God, this is out. going so bad, what the hell? In with Sokoto to make it brighter ampy. How the hell does she do this? Look at this compared to hers. One of my favorite shades out of the entire palette. I just pat this from lash line to crease. What the hell? And putting a little bit of Bororo on the outer lid. Okay. This looks so, like, hers looks so pretty. And then you'll see mine, and mine looks like a Poundland version. In charming pink for the brow bone. It's gonna look very nice. Look at that highlight, bitch. The best eyeliner for the waterline out there. No and baby, help. Make that waterline vengeance city, honey. Now with the black shadow from the palette, I'm gonna smoke that out and make it really grungy. Now mixing Chad, which is the black, and Jamila, and smoking this on the outer Kinda corner of the lower lash line. Kinda looks a bit better, but still very crap. Now go ahead and take Sokoto, that iconic Why? It's like I should go halfway down my eye. And smoke out that lower lash line. Why does happen? And to give that inner corner a pop, I'm adding Bororo. <sighs> Our highlighter again. For lashes today, I'll be using my current favorites, Lily Lashes Lush. Oh my, what the hell? So here, I hate these eyelashes. Like, they just make my eyes look, like, really weird. And, like, also, like, I think the eyeliner makes me look really weird as well. Like, I look like a different person. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'll keep it rolling because, you know, I could end up looking flawless and so beautiful, but I don't think it's going to end up like that. But you never know. Good. I'm going to go in Look, with Dandelion has, Blush oh by the little bit of Blossom. This blush and honey, this Do blush is incredible. Glow is here to guide you. Yeah, true. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Gave Laura Geller the right to blind like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. 
So here is a finished look. I feel like it looks kind of like hers. I'll put it up because I have used black eyeliner, which was a fail, like literally. And these eyelashes are really big. Like obviously, this is the first time I've used these, and these are the pinky goat maram lashes. And they're just a bit like a bit oh, just because I've never had like black eyeliner like on before, like on my under like on my waterline. So that's probably why I, f I feel a bit like whoa, I look like a changed person. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>